Hey friends! So since I am pretty much the queen of impulse decisions, I went out and I bought a plant. And I was super super excited to put it in an enclosure because after going to NARBC and seeing the absolutely amazing anole enclosure. If you guys haven't seen the video, um, it's the one I posted before this one. But during like the beginning of the video, I show this really, really amazing simplistic anole enclosure and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So basically today I went out and bought the same exact plant that's in that enclosure. I did properly prepare this plant. But anyway, I bought myself a bird of paradise can see it right there. That is what I bought myself. And I'm so excited! Also, any of you plant people who are extra worried about this, um, yes, this plant technically is toxic to animals um, if they eat it. And I'm putting this plant in an enclosure where the reptile is not going to eat it because he eats mice. <laughs> like any plant that like if you're worried about it being toxic, to eating it, don't put it in an enclosure where the reptile can potentially eat it. So I wouldn't put this in any enclosure where the reptile might even be slightly enticed by something green. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. of the new enclosure compared to how it looked at the beginning. I think I like it so 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 much more. I think it takes up space a little bit better without the bottom being so crowded with like littler plants if you know what I mean. But anyway tell me what you guys think in the comments. This was a very impulsive 10 o'clock at night decision um, but I think my snake really likes it and I also think that it gives him a little bit more area to hide so I'm super excited about it. But anyways, as always, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for being here. See you later. Bye.